Welcome back everybody to Quarantine Cooking episode four. Uh, today we're gonna be doing some vegan food. Um, we're gonna be doing a couple of things today. We're gonna be doing a roasted cauliflower steak. We're also gonna be doing uh, some vegan lentils and two sauces we're gonna be doing and I'll explain why we're doing two sauces because I forgot a couple of things but we're gonna be doing a romesco and we're also gonna be doing a blistered tomato sauce, everybody. So first of all, we all hope you guys are safe out there. Um, I know we're all quarantined down still, so I know everybody be safe and healthy out there. Uh, still do the six feet, wash your hands, and stay clean, everybody. We just, we're just we're, we're over here doing this show to entertain you guys, to get your family together, to eat healthy, and uh, stay active. Try to stay as active as possible. Uh, we do have a special guest today, but first I want to say thank you. We're here in beautiful Gilroy, California, in a beautiful Neon Exchange. Thank you, Tony, for hosting it. Hi. Uh, Andrea Nicolet at the YMCA, how are you doing out there? Good to see you, we miss you. Uh, we'll get together soon, we'll have a big party here, promise you. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do have one special guest that brought all this beautiful, beautiful stuff for us to take a look at and, and to work with in the near future. Uh, we have um, Sal Asensio, Sal from the Gilroy Farmer's Market. Hi, so welcome. Hi Tony, hi Chef Segovia, thank you for having me here, this is uh... This is a lot of fun, thank you. Awesome, look at all that beautiful stuff you brought. What'd you bring for us? Uh, this is uh, from um, uh, Calidad uh, uh, Organic Farm. Mm -hmm. And um, as you notice, incredibly fresh, and just beautiful produce. And uh, I like uh, fresh produce, mm -hmm. so I'm a lucky guy, you know, having the farmer's <laughs> market. It's, uh, yeah, this is from, uh, from our uh, produce vendor at the farmer's market. Thank you, is it Benincio? Uh, it's uh, Benancio Cortez. Benancio. Thank you, Benancio. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Looks beautiful. Thank you. And what do you, can you tell us about the garlic stuff? Here? Oh, sure. Yeah, this is uh, from that garlic stuff. Mm -hmm. And I love garlic and olive oil. Those are the main ingredients. Sometimes I don't like mussing with the garlic. You know, it gets all sticky. Yeah, and, you know, mm -hmm. So this is great for people who like garlic and just don't want to go through the muss. Uh, the bread is from uh, our baker at the farmer's market, uh, the perfect crumb. Mm -hmm. So I make um, um, garlic bread. With mm -hmm. the, uh, there you go. Yeah, yes. it's really tasty. I'll put it on salad as well. It can go on anything. I like to steam my veggies and sprinkle some of this on. Oh, this nice. is great. Oh yeah, that sounds wonderful. And again, thank you, thank you, uh, Benacio, for bringing all this, letting us have this. Uh, you'll definitely see us at the farmer's market on Saturday. But one more I want to get, we never have dessert here. We never have dessert. Uh, we were supplied with this wonderful dessert. Oh, wow, look at that. And you were saying that the cookies Th are... Uh, those are also from uh, the Perfect Crumb and the cookies are vegan. Vegan chocolate, awesome. chocolate chip. So we get, some, uh, we get yeah. some desserts today, everybody. I'm excited. I don't know about you guys. A couple of ingredients we're going to be using today is going to be our lentils. Uh, the bag of lentils will be your, your green and brown lentils, some cherry tomatoes, cauliflower brought from the farmer's market, vegetable stock. If you have, uh, this can be a vegan dish, uh, we're going to use vegetable stock. If you have, if you're not vegan, you want to use a chicken stock, that's okay also. And I also have a yellow onion. So these are the main ingredients we'll be using today. I might sneak in a couple of these, you never know. They look so tempting, so we might have to, but again, thank you, Sal. Uh, Sal's going to be joining us today, so we'll be asking Sal some questions about what's going on in the farmer's market. How are we being safe at the farmer's market? Uh, what can we expect when we get there? Uh, where is it at? Um, just the hours, how it tends to open, uh, any other good food that are out there. So we'll be picking his brain throughout the show, and because you'll definitely see me there Saturday, Sal. Thank you. So let's get busy, okay. you guys. We're going to get to the kitchen. Uh, let's make sure you have your oven at 400 degrees right now, 400. Turn it on, get it hot, get it going, and we'll see you in the kitchen. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. So what we're going to be doing right now is our cauliflower steak. I know a lot of people uh, wonder what, what is a cauliflower steak. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the vegans, vegetarians, um, you don't have to be vegan or vegetarian to have it. This is good for everybody. It's just, if you're looking to eat a little healthier during quarantine, uh, this would be, be a definitely good, a good option. So what we're going to do is we have a wonderful cauliflower here. Uh, you can get these in, in green, uh, purple, uh, different colors. You can use any color you like. Uh, they brought us this one from the farmer's market, washed and cleaned already. Thank you. 
Thank you, Sal. Uh, Sal's new name is the Vegetable and Fruit Godfather. <laughs> so you gotta go like this. All right, all right, huh? <laughs> so what we're gonna do here, you guys, you get it like this. Take a look at it. You can leave this on there. It's fine. You can leave the butt on there. What we're gonna do is just cut some steaks. There we go. And this one, see how it's falling apart? You can still use that. Mm -hmm. Put it down like that. That's still good. You might not get always the perfect cut. It's okay. There we go. There we go. Look at that steak. Mm. There we go. Perfect cut right there. And you're always going to have some fall apart. That's fine. Here's another one. And then see how these fall apart? We'll mm -hmm. still bake them. This little guy will put to the side for right now. And we're going to put on here is salt, pepper, and olive oil. That's it. So I'm going to grab mine. And if you want to be more adventurous at home, you can add chili powder, turmeric, any spice and herb to it, anything you want. So we'll add a little bit of oil first in my fancy olive oil container. I saw that. There we go. And we're going to rub all this in, you guys. We'll rub it all in. A bit of salt. Hi, I remember that. Yeah, salt you and high. Go high. You know why, Sal? Out. There you go. Look at this kind of educated guy right I here. I saw your show. <laughs> <laughs> no cheating, Sal. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. Go pepper. And don't be shy with this. Don't be shy with these guys. So the oven should be at 400 degrees right now. So we're going to put these in. And remember my old saying, GBD, golden brown and delicious. That's what we're looking for. Put it in, set it, forget it. You want it to get a little brown, it's going to be soft. It'll keep, it, it'll keep it form. We're going to put it in the oven and we're going to time it. There's one, it's uh, 52 right now, so we're going to time this. Look at it in about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes, we'll take a look at it, feel it. I'll pull it out, we'll take a look at it, see how it feels, see how, how it's looking, and we'll go from there. So right now, it's going in the oven. 400 degrees, 400 degrees. We're going to look at it in 10 minutes, you guys. So let's get, we're going to get cleaned up here. We'll get ready to make our lentils next. Welcome back everybody. So we have the cauliflower in the oven right now, going at 400 degrees. Um, next we're gonna do is our lentils. We're gonna start our lentils. Our lentils are gonna take about 10 minutes to make also. Um, so what we're gonna do right now is start it. What I like to put in my lentils are just some onions, some garlic, salt, pepper. Again, add whatever you want that you have at the house. But that's how we're gonna do them here. Uh, and then we also have our veggie stock which is two cups, and we have a cup of lentils. So it's two to one ratio, two to one ratio. So remember how we cut our onions before, you guys. Cut the ends off. Cut in half. Are you good cutting an onion, Leo? Huh? Are you good at cutting an onion? Uh, yeah, I can. <laughs> I'm gonna show you, we'll show you. And we're gonna give you one a dice on this, a small dice, so we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five cuts there. And we're gonna go down. One, two, three, four. And just keep going. And then the closer they are, the smaller cuts you'll have. Now we just dice. Nice. Dice. So Sal, how long have you been with um, uh, Gilroy Fam or Gilroy Farmers Market? Or TNC, isn't it TNC? The uh, TNC um, Farmers Market is the uh, the corporation, mm -hmm. and the different locations we're going to build out five. Um, the first one was here in Gear, right? And then we got a couple more planned. Uh, our grand opening was December fourteenth, mm -hmm. and a lot of people were asking, "Well, you know, it's the middle of winter. We're in California. There's <laughs> veggies and fruits uh, year round." Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Thank you. I can't wait to make it out there now. Where is the address now that we've moved from school? We're at, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, beautiful location. Uh, 6000 Miller Avenue. That's okay. the uh, Gilroy Presbyterian Church. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. right off of uh, Santa Teresa Boulevard and uh, Thomas Road. Okay. And gorgeous spot. It's surrounded by trees. Uh, it's in the foothills, views of the mountains. Um, and, and lots of produce, of course. Nice. <laughs> and the hours are Saturday. Saturdays year-round. 
uh, 10 o'clock till 2 in the afternoon. Perfect. Okay, you will see us out there, right, Chef? Definitely, I'll be there Saturday. <laughs> you gonna be there? I will be there. <laughs> so we have our onions in here, diced onions, and we'll put a little bit of minced garlic. We get about a, two tablespoons, since we're in Gilroy, we like garlic, right? Oh, yeah. Olive oil. There we go. Might have went a little heavy on that, but we're okay. It's olive oil. Okay. Some countries, they, some countries they just drink it. There we go. So we're gonna, we're gonna get a little cooking on your little sweat. We're gonna get these cooking just a little bit. We don't cook it all the way. So once they finish cooking, we'll add our lentils and our liquid, bring it to a boil, simmer it down and cover it. And set it and forget it. Forget it. <laughs> forget it. Leo, is there anybody doing any kind of grain? Sal, Sal. <laughs> I'm sorry, I miss Leo. Leo, we miss you, Leo. Sal, Hi, Leo. Leo was here twice with us. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, Sal, Sal, is there anybody that does any kind of grains at the farmer's market? Anything like that yet? Or hopefully not yet. That's That'd, be our... That'd be a good one. That'd be a nice one. Absolutely. Some nice fresh grains. Yep. Yep. Something, yeah. Legumes as well. Oh, definitely. There's definitely. Uh, Part of what I do is recruit vendors. And um, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's an industry standard practice. Mm -hmm. So that's on my to-do list is uh, legumes and, uh, and grains. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. What else, what other vendors are there out there? Uh, right now, we got, we got a pretty broad suite. We got uh, the fruits and veggies, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a baker, a bakery. She's incredible, well, the perfect crumb. Yeah. And uh, we have a hummus vendor. Oh, nice. Um, I love hummus. We added uh, a glass art vendor, which is per permissible, and you know, yeah. per the regulations of COVID-19. And we have new vendors that are joining us uh, this week and uh, a berry vendor. Uh, our vegetable vendor has strawberries, but we're gonna have blackberries and blueberries. Raspberries and, yep. Yeah. Yep. and are cool. these vendors like sort of out of the Watsonville area or what areas do they generally come from? Most are by design uh, as close as possible. Okay. So uh, for example, Bonancio with uh, Calidad uh, mm -hmm. Farms, Organic Farms, he's out of Salinas. Um, so we're really going to stay local. Or, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Because yeah. we also want to reduce the carbon footprint. Exactly. Exactly. I think that's awesome. That makes sense. It's a great program to really uh, get, get all the Gilroy residents out there, plus everyone in the area to get out there and just mm -hmm. support our local farmers. We need your support. Mm -hmm. You know, as myself and my family, uh, as, as we have this sweating, you guys, you can tell we got it cooking down a little bit more. You know, my family, we all grew up, uh, my family grew up working in the fields also, uh, picking all this wonderful produce, yep. uh, vegetables, so so my heart is definitely with the farmers. So what we're gonna do now, you guys, we're gonna add the lentils. <clears throat> one cup of lentils is measured out, one cup. And two cups of veggie stock. Two cups of veggie stock. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Let's get a little mix in there. I wanna say hi to Diana with, uh, in San Diego. How are you doing? Hi. We, got, we definitely got a um, plant-based, seriously plant, plant-based in San Diego to take a look at us. Oh, wow. So definitely uh, hi out there, hi. Diana. So let's get this to a boil. And once it starts boiling, you'll see the reduction and then we'll cover it. We'll cover it with the lid and put it on very low, you guys. So okay. let's get on to the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna start our blistered tomato sauce. Let's get that going. So let's get everything situated and we'll get going right back to you guys. Okay. Welcome back, welcome back everybody. As our lentils are cooking, you can get that smell of the onions, the garlic, starting to boil a little bit. On the outside, we want it to boil in the middle. So we'll start reducing, then we'll give it a cover. And that's going, you guys. Remember, you could always use, if you're not vegan, you really, you can use chicken stock, um, veggie stock, anything you want. Try to stay away from water. If you, if you have uh, vegetable stock available to you, use it. You get the wonderful flavors in there. So what we're gonna do now is a blistered tomato sauce. Very simple to make, you guys. We're gonna start off with some onions. We're not gonna dice them. We're gonna leave them half ring, just like that, because they're gonna break down, but you still wanna see some texture. So let's get that cut. I'm not gonna go fast, I'm not gonna show off. This is nice and real sharp. Tony keeps her knife sharp. <laughs> so there we go. We have everything right here. We're gonna start off with a little bit of olive oil. The onions. I put half an onion in there. 
they're definitely going to break down and shrink. A little bit of garlic, remember Gilroy garlic. Tomatoes about just one little pint of tomatoes. You don't have to cut them, leave them just like that. Cherry so, tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes, you have to give cherry, grape, teardrop. Mm -hmm. We're almost to that season where they're going to start coming out at the farmer's market, so I'm definitely ready to see all the... I just, we just did a garden at my house. Uh, my daughter and I, and I did some teardrops. Did a lot of uh, the beef tomatoes, yeah. beefy mm -hmm. tomatoes, the uh, rainbow tomatoes, different color. Tomato. I'm just, I can't wait, so. Did about two pinches each, about a, a teaspoon of each, salt and pepper. We're gonna bring this to a high heat. Sal, you were talking about how tomatoes and shrimp are the strawberries let me grab the strawberries um at the store about the transport time it would take for you to be able to get like a, a, a really um ripe strawberry and how often they're picked very green or yellow good question so um at the supermarket i picked these up i won't name names and at the super <laughs> at the supermarket uh cherries uh strawberries, tomatoes, a lot of produce, they pick them too early. And the reason is they're more transportable because even though this might be picked in Watsonville, it goes to a warehouse, a distribution center, it goes back to another warehouse and it finally makes it to the store um, three days, maybe even five days later. So that's why they pick them too early. Mm. Bonancio, on the other hand, because he sells direct to you at the farmer's market, he picks them when they're completely red. Mm. So what that means is all the sugars have have crystallized and all the flavors in there and they're, they're just, they're delicious. Mm -hmm. And uh, come on out to the farmer's market and uh, I'll have both or if, you know, if not, uh, feel free to, to sample them because mm -hmm. re they really are delicious. I can imagine you can tell the difference side by side yeah, on the I've, taste yeah, test, you yeah, can imagine. Yeah. Yeah, oh, see wow. that? Let's take a look at it closer. So whenever you get a strawberry, wow. it's got to be completely Let's cut those open. red. Let's take a look at them. Let's mm -hmm. cut those open here. That's actually a good idea. This is store-bought. Yep. And this is Bonacio's. Look at that. Wow. Night and day, definitely. Yeah. It's so red. Night and day. Well, thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome. So as our sauce goes here, you guys, you, can, you want to come over here a little closer? Yeah. So what we want to do is just blister tomato sauce, just blister it. We want to get real hot. We have a little bit of olive oil in there. We have the garlic. We have salt, pepper, onions. What we're going to do is cook it down. It's, going, it's pretty. Definitely. So what we want is those tomatoes to pop a little bit. So to get this cooking, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of water. And you'll see it start reducing. It'll start cooking it more, softening it up. and popping those tomatoes. And you can see here, here we go. Oh, there they go. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do now is cover them. We're gonna put it on low, simmer. What are you looking for when you- What I'm looking for is most of the water is reduced already. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking for popping in the middle. Mm -hmm. You have those little holes of ventilation that are coming out of the middle of the lentils. Uh, that means the water's getting really low. So we wanna keep a little bit of water in there for the steaming process. So when you put the lid on there, it starts to steam it. Gotcha. It starts opening them up, all the lentils up. And we have that on simmer. And we'll just leave, leave it alone. At this time, we're gonna take a look at our uh, cauliflower here. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. Let me grab one of these fancy <laughs> pink uh, holders here. Everything is colorful in the kitchen. As so. you can see, look at those colors happening already. It's wow. coming. You can feel it getting soft. Mm -hmm. You have gloves on, you wanna feel it? So yeah. you get a little soft. Yeah. Have you ever had a uh, cauliflower steak? I don't think so. So we've been in there probably about uh, 13 minutes so far. So we'll take a look at it here in probably another two minutes and be ready to go. So that's still cooking right there. Can you take a look at that? And that's blistered. This is the blistered tomato sauce, yes. Onions, garlic, cherry tomatoes, Salt, pepper, olive oil. Six ingredients. You should have most of them at home. If you don't, I know uh, 
Farmer's Market is going to have most of them, right? <laughs> you pick them up Saturday. And as you can see, these wonderful, with these guys, these are the, the fennel tops. Uh -huh. uh, you can make wonderful, you can make a fennel top chimichurri. Um, all these all these tops you can save nowadays. People are using them all. Um, look at these carrots. That's beautiful. I mean, just amazing. And when we're talking about doing a carrot tenderloin, and making a sauce with this, mm -hmm. so. Look at these turnips. Wow. Amazing, amazing. Thank you again. Oh, you're welcome. I'm gonna have fun with those. So here we go, it's cooking. It's cooking, you guys, it's cooking it down. As these are, once these are done, I'll make the romesco. The romesco takes literally probably about two minutes to make. Um, a couple of the ingredients you're gonna need that's not on the list, you guys, and I know Tony will add it at the end. Paprika, for a little smoky flavor. Uh, bell peppers, uh, roasted bell peppers. So you could go buy a can or go to the farmer's market, get a bell pepper and roast it yourself. Uh, get on, contact me on Facebook or Instagram and I'll definitely walk you through it and help you. So go visit catering.com also. Uh, red wine vinegar and you got your almonds. You got your toasted almonds. If you have walnuts, peanuts, anything like that, any kind of nut will work. Traditionally, almonds is going to be the one that goes with it. So. And that's for the blended romesco sauce. The, the romesco sauce, yes. So okay. once these are done, we'll knock out the romesco, we'll take this out, we'll plate, and Tony will get to try this wonderful dish. Great. Welcome back, everybody. So we have, let's take a look again at our cauliflower. Look at those wonderful yeah, colors. That. You can hear that, it's getting nice and brown, toasty. It's really soft already. I mean, you could eat it right now. I want a little more color, so we're gonna throw it back in there. So, right before we're ready to serve. Our lentils. There we go. Then we'll finish up what it's doing. Probably another two minutes, ready to go. We have our blistered tomato sauce. If you see it getting stuck on the edges or lose, it getting stuck to the bottom, add a little water okay. to, to break it apart. So all we wanna do is get those tomatoes cooked a little bit and they'll get real soft and they'll pop. There we go. I'm going to add a little water to that and let it go. We'll finish that cooking right there. While these two are finished, I'm going to push this on low and finish it. While these two are finishing, we're going to do the romesco sauce. So you want to get a little closer over here. This you'll need a blender. Right? Yes, you need a blender, okay. food processor, whatever you have, you guys. Uh, we're going to have our almonds, toasted almonds. Okay. Do about two teaspoons. I mean, sorry, two tablespoons. We're gonna put a roasted bell pepper, just about a half of one. Use the juice also. And again, if you don't know how to roast one, uh, get a hold of us, we'll definitely help you. A little bit of garlic, about a teaspoon of garlic. Paprika. Paprika, we're gonna do another teaspoon. Just for the smokiness. Red wine vinegar, about a tablespoon. There you go. Pinch of salt and pepper. Now we're gonna put some lid on it. And we're gonna get that going. There we go, chopping it up. Add a little bit of olive oil. So I think it's going to be a little too loose. So what we do for romesco is you add bread. This is Udi gluten-free bread. If you use any bread you want, uh, you can get some from the farmer's market Saturday. Put it in there. But this is the old school way of thickening your, your sauce. This is thickening your sauce. Yeah, it's going to make it thicker. If you look up a romesco sauce, it's going to have bread in it. A lot of people will use tomato paste. Um, I like to use the old school way. Put a little bread in it. We'll get a little thick as we go. We got the sauce finishing over here. We got the lentil finishing. We got the cauliflower cooking. Got about 14 to go in there. Sorry, Tony, I'll make sure I clean up your area there. Get a good chop on that. Add a little drop of olive oil. 
And we're going to take a look how, how what the text here is. We're going to take a look at that. Oh, wow, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So let's take a look at this right here. Is it almost like pasty? Like? Almost. Almost like a, like a little looser hummus. Oh, okay. Let's grab a spoon right here. Okay. We're going to take a look at this. Exactly what we're looking oh, for. Oh, I see. It's kind of like hummus. Yeah, it's like a looser hummus. There okay. you go. Okay. So this is going to be our romesco sauce. And you're going to try both of them. Yep. We're going to turn this off now. This is our blister tomato sauce. Mmm, mm, take a whiff of that. Mmm. Doesn't that smell so good? It smells good. Lentils? Gonna be done. I'm gonna turn off the lentils now. They're done. We got our tomato sauce, the blister tomato sauce done. We have our romesco sauce done. And now we're just gonna pull out our a roasted cauliflower and we're going to start plating here you guys. So let's get set up to plate and then we'll go from there. Okay. And here we go guys, we're going to start plating here. As you can tell, look at those lentils. Mm -hmm. Delicious, they have the onions in there that are cooked down, garlic, salt, pepper, olive oil, and lentils. Real healthy, uh, great fiber, a lot of fiber in here. Uh, there's so many ways to use it. You can cool it off in, the, in, the, in the, your fridge, uh, put it in salads. Uh, you could do wraps with this with a bunch of greens. Uh, you could add different stuff to it, make a burger out of this. So it's very versatile. You could definitely use it in so many different ways. So let's, we're going to plate here. Are you excited? Are you going to try this also after, Absolutely. after Tony? Yeah, I can't wait. So let's get our cauliflower, which is right here. And we're gonna put two on there since we have two different sauces. Oh yeah, that's right. The first sauce is gonna be your blister tomato. Oh my god, that smells so good. How's it look, Tony? It looks gorgeous. So colorful. And our so second healthy. sauce is gonna be the romesco. So healthy. Unless, since we have all this beautiful stuff here, let's pick something for garnish. We could pick a couple of these guys here. Mm -hmm. Bring them in, bring them under. Voila. Awesome. Bon appetit. You guys enjoy? Oh, oh got a little spill there. <laughs> it's okay. There we go. I got a little excited. <laughs> So let us know how you guys uh, do this at home. Remember, if you guys gonna cook it, plate it, let, let it show us how you guys plate it at home. Uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. I wanna say hi to my mom and my sister and all the kids and Rick and Merced. Uh, through us doing our show, Tony, I'll let you know my family and Merced had picked somebody from the family to cook every single day. That's so cool. And they're cool. doing it, and they're doing it. They're, I mean, they're making, you know, uh, cooking chicken. They're, each kid mm -hmm. is doing one dinner a day, every day. That's awesome. They're swapping it, so. Congratulations, you guys. Keep up the great work. Uh, again, Andrea, thank you for having us for this great idea. We're on episode four. We're just going to keep rolling, <laughs> keep rolling. Tony, thank you for providing the space Yay! here at the Neon Exchange. Uh, also, Sal, thank you very much. Thank, thank you for coming, Sal. Well, thank you for All that me. beautiful stuff you brought with you. Oh, yeah. my God. Thank you for contributing to our The perfect community. crumb. The perfect crumb. And thank you for yes. bringing out these big goods. We have the garlic stuff. Out of Hollister. Thank you again also. We're gonna definitely try that out. Uh, this time we're gonna try out the food, Tony. Woohoo! Here ready? we go. All right, it's going. Here we go, Tony. So let us know which sauce you like better. Okay, I'll try both. I have no problem trying both. You gotta get some of the lentils also. Okay. Mm. Oh my god, I never would have thought, because I'm such a big meat person, that that would have tasted so flavorful. 
and fulfilling. That is fantastic. Let me try the romesco sauce. I actually think my kids might like this. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Here we go, sauce two. Mm-hmm. I can taste the paprika. A little smokiness. It's amazing. Thank you, thank you guys.